Hey, so many artists and creators I talk to say that they really suck at planning. And that's just because they don't know where to start. So I thought today it might be fun to take you really deep behind the scenes of planning for the Draw or Die brand. That's the YouTube channel, the merch, everything that I'm doing because it's the beginning of a new quarter. And that means, you know, I'm planning for quarter three. I need to look ahead, kind of get a 30,000 foot view of everything that I planned, take a look back at quarter two and what kind of didn't go well. And a lot didn't go well for me. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna take a look at quarter two of the Draw or Die brand. I'm gonna explain this board that I'm working on here. It's good to have a 30,000 foot view when you're an artist because as artists, we are visual creatures and we see things visually. So I used to use like a big wall calendar and now I'm using um, this tool called Miro. So this, this software that I'll be going around in is called Miro and it's free, I think for a few of the basic boards, you don't need much. Um, uh, you can do pretty much everything I'm doing here with this or any kind of calendar, but the whole concepts behind here is what is really important. So with that said, let's dive in and I want to explain a little bit about what we're looking at here. So this board is just kind of like these couple boards up here are kind of like, I'm going to go through a little slower for you. Um, it just kind of lets me refocus on what the brand of Draw or Die is about. Before I make goals or set goals, I don't want to be talking about hamburgers or whatever. Um, we talked a little bit before on my other videos and you can find like what I'm talking about pillars. So I've developed these frameworks for myself and I share them with some other creators, but here we are where I'm talking about who I am, you know, visual storytelling. These are my four pillars. I talk about them a lot in my content. I want to make sure that whenever I'm putting out content, to you and who I'm speaking to other artists or people that might be feeling stuck that these are my pillars. So when I'm planning something and you don't have these set as sort of like a North star, it can be kind of, you could start to go all over the place. So that's my pillars. This board here is basically just the overarching brand. I think about the opportunities for the brand, you know, YouTube, daily drawing club, merch to motivate, Paid speaking is becoming sort of something that's on my radar. I've had some people reaching out to me. Again, that wasn't really in my pillars, but I'm trying to figure it out. Could be an opportunity there. Second, and this is something that's probably worth uh, a deeper video. This is something called the realm of relevancy. And I learned this from uh, a couple marketers that I met on, uh, that I uh, found on LinkedIn. And it was really like, I've done marketing and content stuff my entire life, but I really like this realm of relevancy it really allows my brand or your whatever you're doing, your artwork, um, your strategic narrative goes up here, right? Zoom in on this strategic narrative. Then you have these unique points of view, which for my brand, if you know this brand, it's stay encouraged. You know, you're never done. You can stop and come back and don't delay start today, you know, and you could do it. You could start drawing. So you can see here, all of my messaging is right here. I've laid it all out. You know, you're feeling obsolete from AI. You don't have supportive family or friends, not making money. These are the things that can spark a conversation around us for artists, right? Artists feel dead inside when they can't create. Defeat the funk. You've probably seen that from me. Drawing every day is good medicine. Drawing is magic. Um, these are the things that I've identified too, just because I know them and I like to talk about them. And I know that I've had hundreds and hundreds of conversations around these elements. And then these here down here are called audience signals and audience signals are like when someone gives you a review. Now I don't have a lot of time to mess with this, but really it's anytime someone leaves a nice comment about the drawing club, or this really made a difference in my life, or this made me start drawing again today then we can start at the bottom for the audience signals and kind of work our way up to the subject matter for things like shorts or developing just narratives for the new, the weekly newsletters that I put out. Um, so that's kind of the realm of relevancy board. And again, um, and then I have another thing, stay sharp, which is study the craft exercises for artists, reviews and tools, tutorials, and these can be anything. These can be developed into YouTube videos, newsletters. I'm going to show you that in a moment, because there's quite a lot. Um, don't feel overwhelmed. You might not have this whole going on. I've been doing this now for over a year with this brand and building it slowly. It started with just a weekly newsletter. That is it. I didn't have merch or anything like that. It was just 
my goals were to put out a weekly newsletter and I did that for quite a while before we launched anything else for sale. So that said, and this might get a little overwhelming for you to look at, and I'm just going deep here. I don't know if there's anything in here that I should not uh, put in. This is called an OKR sheet. This is objectives and key results. So you're setting a goal and then these are how you know that you made them or not, if you if you achieved them or not. And I put a little summary to myself here because I've already, I've already done my what we call post-mortem, where we're looking back from quarter two. My problem with quarter two, and that's why there's a lot of pink here, when these start out, they'll be yellow, right? Yellow stickies. And purple means progress, like I'm making progress in it. Purple is progress. Green means it's achieved. And then pink means I just didn't achieve it for whatever reason. And then I try to put a note in there of orange. So for, for instance, let's just zoom in here. Uh, one of the objectives, so the key objective is at the top, grow the draw or die community and YouTube channel. Pretty much this was a YouTube channel um, uh, objective. And I wanted to post one long form per week, one live per week, and I wanted to add 800 subscribers to the channel. I added 560, which is still a great amount. I'm super um, thankful for that but I didn't achieve my goal, so I turned it pink. Um, and I wasn't able to honestly put out one long form video a week. I'm turning that pink. I wasn't able to do one live, and we'll get to why in a moment. Um, I wanted to do daily shorts. My, I had this ambition when I was starting this and going like, you know what, I'm going all in. I'm gonna do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's why there's these little icons here. Um, we'll talk about this social plan, it's crazy, but you know, 9 a.m., noon, seven o'clock, nine, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I did that before on TikTok and that's what helped me get, um, take off there. Um, so it is, it is something that works and I was going to do it on shorts and I'll get to why I wasn't able to do that in a moment. I just wasn't able to keep up with that schedule. I put a note to myself in there. Okay. Um, weekly content planning and schedule maintained. I was scheduling or I was looking at my stuff on Sunday, but I was really not doing content planning. I was kind of just flying by the seat of my pants like most people or creators do. So I know that I need to do a better job with that. So really didn't do a good job with that at all. I posted that. Now, um, the notebooks. I did launch the notebooks and we launched right at, right at the beginning of the quarter. And I wanted to sell 100 total orders by, by July 1st, but I don't know, behind the scenes, I'm a little confused because I had like three, I don't know if it was supposed to be 100, sell 100 notebooks, I definitely did that. But we at least had 67 orders with just notebooks in them. So that's three packs, or that's someone buying one pack or whatever. Um, there was some sticker sales too that weren't that. So. I just put, yes, this was okay. Like, that's a pretty good um, launch for us. Um, people buying one notebook at a time, things like that. It's a good bit of work to fulfill that ourselves because we're not doing print on demand. Uh, stickers and the sticker club, which is like the daily drawing club. Uh, more stickers released more often. I did release a new three pack. I got that goal achieved. I had 31 of those sticker orders or sticker packs. As far as I counted, I, I might get these numbers wrong. I have not shown. Uh, my wife helps me a lot with the merchandise and the fulfillment. I just went and took the, took a quick snapshot. So I'll re-review this with her. I'm probably missing a few orders here. Not super important. I'm, I feel pretty good on the sticker game this quarter. Uh, sponsors, you know, I don't want to get too far into the sponsor deal, but... Um, I'm a Blackwing ambassador. I'm not gonna talk about like what, I don't get paid for that stuff. I'm not gonna get into the deals I have. Um, but there are brand, there are brands that are reaching out to me now and I don't know how to deal with that. Um, I do know how to deal with that, but I'm like, okay, so my goal, I did have some offerings to me to like, and so I put, I'm gonna earn $1,000 from sponsored content on my um, channel, but I didn't do it. I think I made a, a few hundred bucks for, with some sponsors, but I just didn't have the time. And I also am very, um, for me personally, if it doesn't fit again, how like there, there's probably two brands that really fit into my pillars, what this is about. And that's basically for me, Blackwing and Dango, they're products that I use. Uh, Opus streaming came along and they 
they just stopped their company. So they popped in and were offering me things and I, I started to do launching with them or um, some live stream testing with them. I really liked their product. And then they switched to an AI tool in the middle of it. So I was a little bit like, oh man, that, that, was, a, that was a lesson that I learned to like, not just trust a new brand out of the gate that's like, because there's a lot of new brands that are reaching out and saying things like, oh, uh, will you try our beta product? Will you tell all of your fans about, you know, and I'm like, but what happens when I tell everybody download this Opus streaming and, and learn to stream on Opus and then a month later they change the game? I don't like that. Um, I thought for sure they'd be around a lot longer than that. So that was disappointing. Um, there's some other pens and pencil companies and things like that that are interesting to me, but if I don't use them, I don't know how I feel about it. So when you see honest reviews by me, they're really honest reviews. Like these people are not paying me for that. I'm changing this up for quarter three. This is, again, this is a quarter two review. Um, so daily drawing, daily drawing club here is grow the membership to just over 100 by July 1st, at least one weekly um, call to action. I didn't do that. I don't like to talk. Uh, it's it's a problem that I have where, you know, you might hear me talking about drawing every day, but I don't want to keep selling to you. Like, I don't want to say like, hey, everybody join the club. Um, so my, my, my goal for the entire quarter was to get to 100. And we got to 52 members. Actually, today, actually right now, live, we're at 56 members. So that's cool. Awesome. Um, and this is the last day. This is June 30th that I am doing this on uh, for this planning. So uh, monthly merch giveaway. I did do that behind the scenes um, there. Quarter sticker, quarter two sticker designed, ordered, and delivered. I did design it. It's here, and we're getting ready to ship those orders. So we've had some, like, stuff with our supplier or, like, our system, and I, it doesn't collect the addresses of the members. Ah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Anyways, um the weekly newsletter. I wanted to get that list up over 2000. We're at about, oh, we're almost there. We're at about 1982 right now. Um, I consider that success. The open rate, uh, the average open rate for those emails is 40%. That's really good. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I'm just kind of showing you again. Um, in the beginning of August, I was thinking about launching the draw or die game, the dice game, but um, yeah, just again, my, my note to myself was it was a tough quarter to try to be so ambitious with the brand goals. I really lacked the time needed to put all of these into the goals, all with having a new a new day job, a new schedule, and I took on some paid freelance to help us bring in some more money. Uh, in between like quitting my old job and getting the new job, I was doing some freelance work, of course, to uh, bring in, you know, pay bills. Um, but it did slow down the progress for me and the time that I wanted to devote to this bigger picture. So that's something that you need to think about too in your life is like the more you say yes to things, the more you have to say no to something else. So if this is my North Star, you know, when these when these opportunities arise, maybe I should be a little more cautious about what I say yes to, even though, you know, money is um, good. So anyways, what I did was I took all of that information and I actually put it into... Um, um, chat gpt oh it's gone it's gone never mind anyways i took all this information and i just wrote that summary and i put it into chat gpt4 and i said help me develop more reasonable goals for myself because <laughs> i'm i'm very ambitious i try to overdo it and i was really feeling it for a while um and it did spit out a more reasonable goal set for me so now we're going to look at this. This is the plan for quarter three for Draw or Die. So the YouTube um, channel, one long form video every two weeks. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second here because I've got the actual calendar blocked out. Uh, two shorts per week when I wanted to do three shorts per day. You know, the robot pretty much told me, like, it, you should not burn yourself out, which is true. So uh, add 400 new subscribers by the end of quarter three. I would like it to be more than that, but it's just about consistency and not burning myself out. So at this point, we'll do that. Um, products and monetization, the notebooks, 
again, I in my mind, I'm like, I know I can do more than that. You should not set these numbers low, um, too low. Like you shouldn't set your goals so that they're just instantly achievable. You should try to set them higher. So I would probably set this like 20% higher, right? So which is probably why you, you always want to be pushing yourself a little bit. But in this case, I'm doing all of this pretty much, except for um, my wife's helping with the fulfillment. I'm running this whole thing. I'm making these videos um, all on top of having a day job and all that stuff. But uh, there you go. So sell 50 more. Um, stickers and the sticker club. Continue releasing stickers regularly. Aim for 40 orders with stickers in them. Design. And again, we're not a full-time business here. We're like, this is a side business. So if we can fulfill a few orders a week, we're totally happy with that. Um, and then we put the money back. We don't have the finances on here, but we put the money back into uh, advertising the shirts or um, buying stuff like the hats. Uh, that's all. That all costs money to do that. Uh, and again, we started with absolutely no monies, and we just started with a free newsletter at the, the you know, 67 weeks ago. Um, new merch. We're talking about patches and pencils, so that's why I put question mark there. Launch a new design um, thing, and there's one other thing that I want to put on here, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, <clears throat> instead of instead of trying to do the thing with the sponsors, where I'm trying to like make money with sponsored posts, because I am getting a lot of people reaching out to me, I'm looking back at that goal structure up there and saying that doesn't really fit my goal. I don't want to become a paid influencer guy where I'm just like my my channel is becoming. Um, a sounding board for these other products that I don't use. So I realized too, we're in July, August, September. That's what we're planning for quarter three. What's October? October's promptober. So if I really want to get um, my sponsorships, my sponsored prizes for promptober, I'd really like to reach out to those brands that I've been building relationships with and get some kick-ass prizes for the uh, promptober this year. Then, okay, so that's that. Then build the Raddest Drawing Club on Earth. We're doing that. So grow membership to 75. Again, I would be like, I want hundreds of members, right? But it's, you know, it is it is what it is. It's, it's not supposed to be a big numbers game there. It's just something that's helping people and it's serving a purpose. So I'm aiming for a moderate increase in subscribers. So grow the membership up. We're at 56 right now. We'll probably be a few more over this weekend. Um, just get it to 75. I don't like to call out, but so that's why I set the goal. Regular call to action every other week in the newsletter. Because I hate to send out extra newsletters too. I did it today because I was trying to get over that 50 mark um, and it worked. But I just don't like to do it. I don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, but I don't think people mind and I'm, I'm you know, I'm... I'm doing a lot more value giving than I am asking for things. So I'm fine doing that. Um, <clears throat> and besides that, I'd like to get more people in the drawing club because we're having some fun in there. We have the daily drawing prompt, all that stuff. You can check that out. Um, the weekly newsletter. Again, I'm just saying weekly list grows to over 2,000 and the average, rope, the average open rate stays above 40%. I'm happy with the newsletter. It's been the constant. Um, it's a list. It's a list you should, you know, I can't get into the strategy of owning a list, but you know, you own your list. Um, and it's a community around your brand, um, or whatever you're writing about. And that's, that's, that's more important to me than, um, uh, a YouTube channel or some other place where you can't see, or you can't control, or they could just pull it in the middle of the night. At least if something goes haywire, I have a list that I could reach out to and you know how to get a hold of me and I know how to get a hold of you. So Anyways, in real life drawing club, I did that last this week and it worked out really great. So one month uh, meet up locally and I'm gonna test the uh, drawing game with the local community members. And then I'm trying to put this one on here. It's like help one satellite club launch. So I've had a lot of people saying to me, especially this week, will you come and do this in um, Florida? Will you come and do this in wherever? Uh, no, but you can do it, and I'm going to show you how, and I can I can maybe help facilitate that. It's not hard. It's not rocket science uh, to do it, but if you want to do it under the Draw or Die brand name, that's even cooler. It helps us all grow. Um, that would be cool. So I had this thing, secret thing. I wasn't going to talk about it, 
and I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I'm going to I'm going to delete it now because I'm going to delete this and show you because I actually I, I spoiled it up top, and it's the draw or die dice game that I want to uh, put out, um, and I'm going to complete the game design and prototyping by the end of quarter three, test the game with a small group of Dord community members. And these are pretty much the things that we need to do. We're also kind of, I think we're going to do Kickstarter, even though we're kind of adverse to Kickstarters, but it just might make sense to do it that way since there's a lot of moving pieces and we don't want to be the ones that are doing it all ourselves. So that's that's that, right? Anyway, no more on that for now. Um, so that's what the quarter three OKR sheet looks like. Okay, so now I know how much content I need to be putting out for these weeks. So now I'm breaking it down into a calendar. So here's just your basic calendar. Now on this calendar, what these represent is, this represents the long form video, this guy. This represents a short vertical, you know, shorts and longs, that's all you got these days, right? So these are shorts, these are longs. So this is what a typical week would look like. We are doing this right now. This, what I'm doing right now is taking the place of the weekly newsletter this week. The weekly newsletter is gonna be about planning as an artist or planning as a brand you might not have all of these things going on for you it might just be as simple as you want to start a you want to start drawing every day you can set those okr sheets up to do that and what you do is before i jump in any further you know every sunday you sit down and just take a look at this and you just go through the columns and you go where am i with this did i am i good am i scheduled where am I with this? Where am I with that? You're just keeping yourself accountable. I didn't do that for quarter two, but it's okay. Cause I had a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, forgiving of myself there, but um, you could just go through these one block by one block and go, where am I with that? Okay, I'm gonna plan that, plan that. Okay, this is next week or that's whatever. I need to do this by August, right? So I'm thinking about all that as I'm looking at this entire calendar, right? So just one week and these, these symbols here are because I do have the daily drawing club. So this, this denotes a prompt that needs to come out, the little mini newsletter, let's say. So I usually do those on, like I schedule them out on a Sunday, but I know that that's what my, that's what the Dord brand, the draw or die brand is looking like. There's a weekly newsletter on a Sunday. Then you're going to get a daily, um, daily drawing club post. There's one short, the long form video is probably going to go out on Wednesdays then the drawing prompt continues then a short on i think this is friday yes friday saturday there you go this is basically the, the again the reason i'm doing this is i could post more than this if i wanted to but this is the basic this is the thing for quarter three this is my baseline i want to hit these things at least my minimum right um and you can see down here i know that i want to start doing that drawing club on the last Tuesday of the month. So here we are, I just put draw club in there. You know, you can move these blocks around and stuff in Miro, it's fun, it's fun. you can zoom in, zoom out. Um, I've numbered, th these numbers here mean, that's the number of the newsletter. So this week it's week 67, 68, 69. So I can get in here with a little notebook and kind of be like, okay, this is, this is what this topic's gonna be about. It just kind of lets me get, take a step back and kind of go oh all right cool like that's a lot right like in my mind i thought dj you're only going to do two shorts a week that's lame or you're only going to put out a video every other week you should be doing weekly but really this is fine so if this all goes as well i'll have three long form videos coming out in july and a bunch of those shorts kind of sprinkled out only on the youtube channel right so from there we go into august uh, same thing. I just put the blocks in there. So there will only be two video. Oh, wait. Yeah, there will only be two long form videos going out in August. I don't know what those are yet, but I do have um, another program that I use that's called Things, where it's just a list of these are all YouTube channel ideas. I am at no, um, or not YouTube channel ideas, YouTube video ideas. I'm at no um, lack of ideas for channel videos. So. I have a list of uh, what's going to be coming up and I'm going to figure that out. Like this one makes sense to go next, um, that kind of stuff. And then you go the, the, the drawing clubs on the 29th there. So anyways, this 
And then we get into, what is this? Um, September. September, same thing. Drawing club's there. There's a constant. There's a constant. The newsletter's always there on a Sunday. The drawing prompts are there. I haven't moved the drawing prompts over into these guys, so you can see how I do that. I just kind of, you know, copy, copy. And then just move them over. Move them on over into there. And if I build the template out, I'm just building this new calendar template out. And as I'm doing this, you know, there might be like faster things, but it gives me some time to like think about the weeks. Does that make sense? Um, just to think about um, what these weeks look like. And I go, I, I also look at my other calendar as well and go, oh, look, what's this? I'm going to be in Boston that week. Hmm. That's in uh, August. So August 21st to the 24th, do I want to schedule some kind of meetup in Boston? Because I know that my friend Moose is there. There's a couple other artists in New England that might pop up for like an impromptu night. Maybe we do a drawing club night in Boston when I'm, when I'm traveling. That sounds fun, actually. I'm just thinking about that right now. And then we're getting into September. And then, you know, I'm actually looking the first month of quarter four. It's promptober. That's when we're going to have the daily drawing challenge with prizes and stuff like we did last year. So I hope this is helpful to kind of see. Um, I'm not going to get into my daily schedule, but there's some other stuff on here. You know, there's some, there's some like how to do growth ex exercise, like a daily growth exercise that you can do. There's how the algorithm works. Maybe we'll get into that in future videos, but these are the things that are really like powering myself. You know, I have a history of looking now. I can see where I'm at. I've been doing this. Let me zoom way out guys. Look at this. This goes all the way back to the very, very, very beginning of what it was going to be. Like I have Secret Forces there, the Draw or Die newsletter, Substack, a weekly prompt, weekly resource, weekly note of encouragement. This was it. It all started with this. And since I have this on the mirror board, I can kind of like go back and while like, oh, this is neat. I started there. You know, and I started to figure out like what what comes next. What's the flow? Should I should I charge people stuff, right? It's all kind of fun to think about, and then actually put it into action. You could see like when I first started, look at my content calendar back then. It was really messy. This was me doing scribble challenges. Scribble challenge one, scribble challenge two. Because when I do the scribble challenge in the morning, scribble challenge at night, there was two shorts. It was perfect. But that's this is the month that I was really kicking off on uh, um, TikTok, so you could see a lot of stuff, right? And then I was actually um, totaling up how many signups I was getting on the the newsletter that week, like the the old the the weekly newsletter. I was excited to like grow those numbers, and then yeah, so it's very nice that we have a chronicle of that was the first draw or die convention table at the first three rivers con. This was the first drawing meetup. So I can kind of use this board as also like a reminder of, you know, nice, nice things that happened, ideas that I might be having. You can see my other previous quarter three goals from last year, you know, grow the channel, get it monetized. Those things have achieved and you can see progress there. Um, it's really nice to do. So I've, it gets a little too much. I just zoom way over here and I just start a whole new section. that's a little more organized. So that's it for this i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions or if there's something in there that you want me to do a deeper dive on please let me know i'm happy to talk about that stuff i know it's a little bit nerdy that's a little bit nerdy but it's also kind of like artists need to learn to start thinking like a business um even if you're not doing it for the money and you're just doing it for yourself it helps you plan better so that you can have a more sustainable creative life and not be like burn out or getting divorced or whatever. So uh, stay encouraged out there. I'll see you real soon and draw every day. You know the deal. I'm going to get back to this and finish this up right now.